I want to talk about a little bit about 1865. Yes. And uh, what I saw, when I saw the 1865 perform, um, it was more than a rock show. It was what, and more than one could call like an Afro-punk sort of thing. But what I saw was a community of kids of many ages, many races, mm -hmm. many s different social statuses, sexualities, that were all rocking out and having fun, smart, political, fashionable people mm -hmm. going on there. And I just wanted to give you guys mad kudos for oh, there. thanks. Because the subject of the 1865, it's, it's conversations that people that are not hip enough do not want to have that conversation right now. So it's a jarring topic for a lot of people, definitely. Right. Now, now, Biz, do you want to say? Speaking of say jarring cause, topics, cause, yeah, because <laughs> the uh, like that poem that you were just throwing out there. So, like, you know, what happened first? Was the it, was the 1865 there, and then you you got in on this, or like? How? Yeah, um, I came to New York maybe 13, 14 years ago, mm -hmm. and when I arrived in New York, um, there was a scene of amazing, intelligent multi-talented, multi-contextual black artist, and Honey Chow was one of the first people that I met mm. in that scene. And it gave me a ton of inspiration to say, you know, you can make it here. There's a, there's a niche for you here in New York. And Sasha and Honey Chow had cultivated uh, the ideas and all the music and everything for 1865, and they pulled me into the fold at just the right time, because I had been playing with, I had been playing with Dragons of Zenth, and we released our first record, and was working on a second record, and it was just like um, New York was becoming a thing. The, 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 the community was metastasizing into mm -hmm. something. <laughs> in a good way. Uh, yeah, in a good way. way. And, and, you know, 1865, the subject matter and the, the, the music is both trying to inform as well as Entertainment. Edu uh, ed edutainment, like uh, yes. KRS-One said. All right, so now, now let's, let's talk about the 1865 a little bit more over here. Now, here's the little booklet inside inside uh, the Whack the Vinyl album here. I hope that's uh, available for everybody. But in it, it has, not only does it have the lyrics to a lot of these the songs, and, and oh, can you please tell us a little bit about the 1865? I mean, what exactly, this is such a... I already know the answer, but the year 1865, what, what significance does it have? And how, what does it well, have to do with all the, the stuff, your lyrics and stuff that you're talking about? Because it's, 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 it's heavy. It's I really, mean it's really heavy. On paper, legally, you know, it's the year that slavery ended, but mentally not so much and socially not so much. Hold on, when did that Juneteenth happen? Wait a second. I, thought, I think it might have still been on there a little bit. Right, right. In so parts. Mm -hmm. In parts. In part. So um, this is really about black life. Uh, post that time, mm -hmm. and it's a coloring book too. So you know, they got them all things there. were promised. You know, where's my forty acres and a mule? Yeah. Where's this? You know, in well the beginning, um, people were very prosperous in getting education and holding mm -hmm. office, but then there was a backlash. Right. Yeah, you know, oh, we were talking about a uh, uh, Black Wall Street. Mm -hmm. We were talking about um, uh, the Watchmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, definitely mm -hmm. Watchmen. But uh, uh, Rosewood. Yes. Rosewood. Like yeah. these things cool, happen. Yeah. Like, uh, why do these things happen? Progress is not a Progress is not shared equally in the, in the American dream. I think that that's the subject matter that 1865 tries to get at. Mm. You know? And the insecure are not comfortable with change. Yeah. It's kind of like when you say black lives matter and people think you're racist mm. when all lives should matter, but uh. they don't, so that's why we need to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not matter. People, you could just, you could be in your house, yeah. literally just like doing a thing. You could, right. you could die. But then it's like, oh, well, if you feel guilty because black people need to stand up for themselves, maybe you're benefiting from us not being able to. And people so don't want to acknowledge that. No one wants to acknowledge it. Yeah, that's so. a conversation people don't want to have. The, the hierarchies. And yes. Mm -hmm. the, and the, the comfortable. Right. And, they, and they keep tricking, like, the people that are poor, or, like, you know, they, they don't want, uh, like, people that are, that are Caucasian that are not as well off as this rich, you know, elite, and, and they want them to also hate. They, they don't want people teaming up. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. Am no, right? it's, right it's always it? about the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. Think right, when, right. when people start to unify, yeah. that's a threat to the government. Yeah. So the it's power of the music is that there's information in the music, and that's how, from 1865, uh -huh. pre-1865, how people of color and the downtrodden shared information. Right, they disseminated through music. Through music. So right. Like important. songs, 
and that's how people know the songs. Exactly. Right. Like they always talk about the Negro spiritual and stuff right. like that. They've given you this information here. Exactly. That's the thing. It was our telegraph. Yeah. And they, they said uh, the 1865 is uh, kind of punk and blues. Yes. And blues is talking a lot about the woes of well, what was it black? I'm just but saying. But also information in code. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in our community, we talk about code switching a lot. Mm -hmm. In music. I'm a school teacher, yeah. yeah there's code so switching all day. There's code switching in music as well. I mean, hip hop is famous for code sure. switching. Sure. That's what slang and dialect are. Mm -hmm. So, that was a big inspiration for me, writing lyrics. I use a lot of hip hop elements mm -hmm. because the energy of hip hop and punk is very similar. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's anger, but also energy. And yeah, and it can be Anger very is an energy, but mm -hmm. it can know. be destructive, but it could also. Heal, it also builds. Right. I right. say activated. All right. Activated, activated, yes. And, and let the chips fall where they may. Exactly. Right. Okay, 